Jimmy, everyone's seen the videos, everyone's seen the Facebook posts, but here is an actual real live gaff gun yes. in person. Now, I think this device fundamentally challenges who we are as live technicians, and it kind of upsets me and shakes me to my core that there is another way to do this and that people aren't going to be just like kind of running around on floors like we did when we all started. So I'm very You're cagey about we're this device. You're replaceable, Jason. No, not replaceable. I just, I don't like it that young whippersnappers will do things differently <laughs> the way I do. We suffered, <laughs> so, so should they. they. Exactly. I still haven't forgiven digital multi-cores, but anyway. Oh, well. Okay, so what's the deal? How does it work? How does it feel? This okay. is the question. Well, that's that's several good questions, mm. and I'll attempt to answer them. The deal is basically, this is a, a an, oh, it's like an upside-down tape dispenser that yeah. you rub along the floor. Mm. Um, basically, <laughs> yeah. uh, there is a channel underneath it, and you can change, have different sizes of channel um, corresponding to the different sizes of cable which then relate to the different sizes of tape. This is a three inch tape, this is loaded at present with a two inch tape and there's also this which is a double sided tape which you use with the solid roller and no cable guide in order to stick down bits of flooring on trade mm. shows and things like that. Mm. It's useful actually. It is. Um, now look here's the go right, two inch tape is good for sticking down a couple of mic leads or um, surprisingly it worked really well with that cruddy Cat 5 yeah, cable. Yeah. You know how Cat 5 always gets those really hard yep. kinks in it which are, you know it shouldn't because mm. minimum bend radius and all that but it does and it's hideously unmanageable mm. stuff. Um, this actually made quite a neat job of sticking down one Cat5. That's the bit that converted me. I've had to stick down a lot of that uh, in the last few years mm. and that did a much better job than I ever have. Yeah, now here's the, the kicker. If you're sticking down a multi-core, this tape doesn't work. It's nope. not big enough. You need to use the three inch tape uh, and obviously the appropriate cable guide. Same thing if you're doing a Wheeland mm. or if you're doing, uh, I think they say, this guide is for up to six cables. There's one that's sort of halfway between these, which is four mic cables, and this is good for two. Mm. Now, you ran the numbers, Jimmy, because I think the main objection people are going to have to this is the cost of the tape mm. and the, the initial setting up and fiddling around with the uh, the different guides. Yeah, look, the, the guide changeover process, I'm going to show you right now, is mm. basically it's that and then you just thread the tape back through. So changing the guides yeah. is not actually that big a deal. Um, as far as the tape goes, there's a couple of options. This is like the Super Primo stuff, which is pretty pretty pricey. But if you're looking for a, a comparison to what you know the Australian market at least is used to, which is, you'd have to, you, you're hard pressed to deny Nashua 357 yeah, exactly. is kind of our de facto standard for, mm. for gaff in Australia. Um, they do uh, a version of that, which I think they call a duct tape. Mm. Um, and price wise, it's it's pretty similar. Mm. Um, time wise. Time wise is significant saving. Mm. And then the other thing is if you go to the three inch tape, one strip of three inch is exactly the same price mm. in material cost as two strips of Nashua, yeah. two inch. But you do save your back you and you do get back, a neater result. And you get a really neat result. Mm. Uh, and look, it's not going to work for every cable, mm. um, but it does work for a lot of them. Mm. Uh, and it does work on a lot of different surfaces. And I think really where the savings for this are going to come in is when you've got to do long runs. Because yeah. um, those are the ones that take forever, mm. you know, and you're down on your knees and it's just unpleasant. Mm. You know? So this is going to at least give you a more pleasant start to your gigging day, mm. um, not to mention potentially save you a few dollars along the way. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching Gearbox. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking below. We'll see you next time.